Hello everybody and welcome to this Planet Zoo Null Barrier and Custom Barrier Tutorial. First of all, I'm going to take you through some of the kind of designs and steps I go through myself when building custom fences, custom barriers and also stick around towards around the middle of the video where I will be showing you how to properly use null barriers. So you have your basic barrier here which is your steel mesh and what we're going to do is just spice this up a little bit. Looks a bit boring, a bit dull, everyone uses it. So if we just grab this rod here, this is out of the Australian DLC pack if you are wondering and they're great for building custom barriers. Duplicate that over. What we want to do is we'll get our barrier lined up and we just want to try to make this look a little bit different. Let's move those down so they're not as high. It's all about freedom in this game as well. Honestly, you can customize these in-game barriers as much as you want with anything you want you can literally throw anything at them uh, throw a plant pot on it if you want it but yeah you can literally throw anything at them and just like spice them up a little bit make them look a little bit better so what we want to do now is what i think we're going to do is just add a bit of foliage so if you move this foliage over and we come over here Duplicate it, move it over like so. You can already see we've only two items, one of which foliage and one of which the uh, the rod from the Australian DLC. We've already got a better looking fence, and then you can literally just do what you want with it. If I follow these lines around like this. Now as you can see that's looking so much better obviously this is a very simplified way of of styling up your custom barriers um, i'll move on to one more now and then i'll show you some other examples of other ones what i have created myself so we have the basic wooden log barrier and if we place these logs here like this give them like columns duplicate that over move this into the log like so so it fits in we'll get this other log we'll move this we'll follow this line around like we did with the other barrier we want this on the bottom duplicate that over We'll get this one, which is the Arctic Festive Log Decoration out of the Arctic DLC pack. We'll take that and we're just going to plonk that on the top here. Like so. And it kind of gives it that more decorative and kind of Christmassy feel to this barrier as well so there we have it obviously you can put lights on this and stuff like that uh, another basic one what you could do and what we're going to do now is i'm just going to show you a couple of ones what i have made so here we have the hedge barrier i've placed some fencing into it sunk it right in so it's just popping up at the top to give it quite a nice feel and a quite a nice look about it added these um, pillars which I built myself out of the hedge pieces and then the hedge little diamond here and yet yeah, as you can see it looks much better than just having a plain green hedge let's have a look at the next one here we are and that this one is probably my favorite one um, very modern as you can see we've used the plaster pieces I've also added a TV screen for education to show you what it would look like with an education screen on it. Little plant pot with a little plant. Uh, we've got a window. So this is actually the glass barrier as you can see. And we've put this 
plaster pieces over the top, some lights at the side, some nice little woodwork around the rim of this circle here. And yet yeah, there's another way and another idea of how to spruce up your custom barriers. Okay, now onto null barriers. This is a habitat what I created myself. It's on my Steam page, which the link to my Steam page will be in the description below if you want to download this habitat yourself. But I'm just gonna quickly show you how to effectively use null barriers. Basically, in this game, uh, depending on what animal it is, will depend on what it can climb out of. So if you use a solid object, it doesn't have to be a barrier, it can be wall pieces, it could be in like this occasion, it is rocks. Um, and this is quite a small habitat, so we put a small animal in this habitat that doesn't lead to space and it cannot climb. That is the key thing. If you put an animal that can climb in here, it will probably go in the water and climb over the rocks. But if you put an animal in here that cannot climb, it will not climb over the rocks as it classes a solid object and as long as you've got a null barrier running all the way along these rock here the animals will not be able to get out i'm going to show you quickly how to do it but you could probably guess so we've already added the habitat door now we just want to add on to this we select our null bar barrier and all we do doesn't matter as long as it's not on the inside, because then you will get animal escape warning, make sure it runs right around the edge of the actual rock itself. Or you could even go on the path, so you could go like that, and you can go like that, and your and your guests will still walk through that, and your habitats will not be able to break out of that. But in this occasion, I'm gonna turn angle snap off, and I'm literally just gonna follow this rock work all the way around like so. Move that in a bit. And I just follow it round, all the way around. This is me doing it quite messily to hurry up the video, but you can be much neater than this. Let's just slot that in there like that. And there you go, your animal will not be able to escape here because it's a solid wall. They will not be able to escape the rock work either. Obviously, if they climb, that's where it gets a little bit trickier. Another basic simple example would be this little habitat I've put here. Again, it's on my workshop, workshop link in the description. I also have a Discord if you want to join and discuss anything about Planet Zoo whatsoever. You can join my Discord, that will also be in the description below. But as you can see, we've got a simple, a quite a simple uh, modern style looking habitat here, uh, like a shell. And what we want to do is if we go into our um, barrier tab, we get the gate. I would advise always placing the gate first. Um, you don't have to, but I always find it easy. And then we get our null barrier. Select null. And then as you can see, all you wanna do then is just go all the way along this wall. Um, just make sure it lines up and all the way along and just follow the wall all the way along until it's totally complete. And as for this area, you've got a couple of options. You can add glass and they won't break through. So what I like to do is I add one bit of glass. And all I do, I'll just quickly show you. Line it up. You can turn the curve section on and you can literally curve it round following the actual wall itself. It can be a bit tricky, but it does pay off in the end. It's all about moving, getting it right, getting it in place, like so. And then this would all be glass for our, our, our viewing area for the guest. And then all the rest would be null barrier, finally joining onto our gate. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is pretty much it. 
that's my little tutorial for you of how to create custom fences and get created with the barriers get creative sorry with the barriers in the game and also a quick little showcase of how to effectively use no barriers i hope you enjoyed this small little tutorial if you did feel free to drop a like subscribe if you want to see more planet zoo content like i said before i have got a discord link in the description as well as my workshop in the description my name's adam i hope you have a wonderful day and i will catch you in the next one